Sluggishness of mental factors. They are nearly the same. Hmm? Mind and mental factors, they distinguish. So, this sloth and doba. <coughs> sloth and doba is also one type of hindrance. Hmm? Buddha says, Sandhava ija dantina meda, atime ija dantina meda, di bhajana di. Asandhava Ija dantina meda nati me ija dantina meda di bhajana di. Yadha ja nubana sa tina meda sa uba da ho di dinja bhajana di. Yadha ja ubana sa tina meda sa bhajana ho di dinja bhajana di. Yadha ja bhina sa tina meda sa ayadi nubana sa ho di dinja bhajana di. Tayabhi Sloth and Doba in him, a big who understands. There is Sloth and Doba in me. Or there be no Sloth and Doba in him, a big who understands. He understands. There is no Sloth and Doba in me. He also understands how there comes to be Sloth and Doba in him. How there comes to be the no arising of Slow the endoba in him. <coughs> or how they are going to be the rising of slow endoba which have not yet risen before. And he also understands how they are going to be the abandoning of <coughs> the rising slow the endoba. And he also understands how they are going to be the non future arising of abundant sloth and toba. So, all together, five sentences. If there is sloth and toba, you should try to understand. There is sloth and toba in me. <coughs> if you do not understand, you cannot contemplate as a nature to matter because you do not understand. Hmm? Slow the endoba rise as a cognitive process. <coughs> as a cognitive process, it associated with craving lover as well as dosa hatred. Hmm? So, if you gain this some greed lover group, hmm? then you can also discern this slow endoba. For example, you may have wrong view. And if you see the face of children, this is the bar leading to the heaven. <laughs> such type of wrong view you may have. With such wrong view, you trying to enjoy sensual pleasures. <coughs> At the day, sometimes you have such wrong desire to enjoy by yourself these sensual desires. But Sometimes someone may be urged or prompt you to enjoy this sensual desires. So the, if someone prompt you to enjoy this sensual desires, the other day this slow and over is associated. But in this case, one meditating, how slow and over can rise? 
this is mental laziness only. Mental laziness. When you are meditating, sometimes you may have laziness. Why is this laziness appear? Because of unwise attention. What is unwise attention? In this case, when you are meditating, now you are nearly two months. Sometimes laziness may appear in your mind. <laughs> laziness visit to your mind. At that time, you may think, oh, this meditation subject is not possible for me to attain any channel. <laughs> so you have lazy mind. And then uh, you want to do something. Something means, oh, if I go back to home, it will be very good. <laughs> and and that's you may think. <laughs> so, some type of attachment may appear in your mind. And then uh, this laziness may appear. But when you are meditating, sometimes, <coughs> sometimes there is also sleepiness will appear. If sleepiness appear, you have no intention to remove, to dispel this sleepiness. Uh, you don't want to pay attention to meditation objects. You are trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, again, 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 in this way, you, you, know, you do not try not to, uh, to dispel this <laughs> sleepiness. At that time, your mind is associated with sloth and tova. But at that time, greed is very weak, maybe. Because that greed means, greed means you have attachment that sleepiness. That's such type of mind only, when you are meditating. You have a little bit attachment to the to sleep. Such type of attachment, very weak attachment. That attachment is associated with mental laziness, this sloth and topa. Okay? At the time, <coughs> if you sloth and topa visit to your mind, then you should try to understand there is sloth and topa in, in me. How you should try it? You must discern your Going up, mind you. I want to explain this again. <coughs> Many times I had to explain. Now you, some meditators now they are practicing chana. When they are discerning chana feathers, they can see this going up, mind you, clearly. Hmm? But this is really metaphorically we say going up, mind you. Going up is called mind you. There are six doors: eye door, ear door. Nose to, tongue to, body to, mind to. Why they are called to? This to is the place <coughs> to come in, to come up. Is it true? Mm -hmm. In the same way, many cognitive process, many mentalities, from this to also coming in, coming up. From this to also coming in, coming up. From here, 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 in the same way. Coming in, coming up. So they are like those. Because of this reason, metaphorically, they are also give one name, to. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah, do, not do, tongue do, body do, mind do. The main name of I do, I do consciousness arise, I do cognitive process arise. In the same way, the main name of yeah, do, yeah, do cognitive process arise. The main name of not do, not do cognitive process arise. Depending on tongue do, tongue do cognitive process arise. Depending on body do, body do cognitive process arise. In the same way, depending on mind do, mind do cognitive process arise. So, I do and I do cognitive process completely different. I do is here, I transfer element only. Depending on I transfer element, I do cognitive process arise. But, in this I do cognitive process, only I consciousness my moment arises depending on I do. Other different types of my moments arise depending on heart phase. But to give one name is necessary this cognitive process. So in this cognitive process, I consciousness is special consciousness. 
Because uh, depending on that unconsciousness, this do I do this cognitive process keeps running, I do cognitive process. In the same way here, here do not store then do body do also say. Here mind do boinga. Depending on mind do boinga, boinga is called mind do. Depending on boinga mind do, mind do cognitive process arise. So mind do cognitive process are now you are being addition anapana. This is also mind do cognitive process. If you add in jhana, this is also mind or cognitive process. <coughs> you are trying four elements of meditation. You are designing to a research. This is also mind or cognitive process. Um, mind or cognitive process work. Many, many, many work. Hmm? All samatha jhanas are mind or cognitive process. All insight knowledge are mind or cognitive process. Um, hmm? So, but this Boinga Mindo is metaphorically, it's called Mindo. Metaphorically means that Boinga Mind State arises to be the heart face. That Boinga Mind State can produce my uncountable mind produce Kalabas, Kinija hmm? Ruba. Among these calabas, in every calabas there is a color. That color is luminous bright. This is one. In each calabas there is fire element, tijo, temperature. That fire temperature also can produce new generations. In each generation, in each calabas there is also uh, color. That color also luminous and bright. Combination of these two types of colors are bigger here, luminous, transparent, like mirror. But real Wenga mind is cause. <coughs> Wenga mind is cause. Mind produces colors are effect, cause and effect only. Metaphorically, this effect is also called mind only. Real mind Wenga is, you cannot see now. Not like Mira. Metaphorically, this is called my do own. Hmm? Wenga Mainstay is for persons who had associated with wisdom faculty. There are 34 medal feathers usually. These 34 medal feathers now you cannot see because now you are very decent only Samantha. When you are designing Adime modality other than you will understand this Wenga. To differentiate this Boinga, we usually use two words together, Boinga, Maido. In this way we use only. Hmm? Okay. Usually design Boinga, Maido. Hmm? And after designing Boinga, Maido, then you should pay attention to this slot and topper. But this slot and topper always arise to be the own. Uh, always arise with associated mental formations about the, about the do cognitive process. So you should try to see this cognitive process and associated mental formations. There may be sometimes 22, sometimes there may be 20, etc. These mental formations you should try to decide. But taking which object? While you are meditating now, really slow and toba is rising because you are sleepiness is always coming. At the day, you may have a little bit attachment to that sleepiness. That sleepiness attachment is called greed. Hmm? That greed is there maybe 18 mental factors or 20 mental factors or 22 mental factors maybe. <coughs> if we uh, plus slot and talk about there maybe 20 or 22, hmm? etc. So this mental formation you should try to discern. Referring to this stage, Buddha explained, there being slow and toba in him, if we could understand there is slow and toba in me. This is fun. Hmm? Then there being no slow and toba in him, he understands there is no slow and toba in me. How he should he should try? He must try. Another mental formation also. Taking different objects, for example, taking color as object, he must design 
mindful cognitive process, mindful cognitive process, etc. Sound, smell, taste, thing, even objects in mind, the mark objects. Taking different objects, we must listen. <coughs> when he is listening at the night, so in some cognitive process, here is low, slow the interval. At the day, slow the doba is upset. When slow the doba is upset, he should try to understand. Oh, slow the doba is upset from me. In this way, he should try to decide. Hmm? Because other cognitive process are rising in the same way. For example, you are already dancing on a banana. When you made that abhiya, you should focus on the new made that. At the if you want to decide here, medal of others, you can see 34 medal of others. Among these 34 medal of others, there is no sloth in Toba. If there is no sloth in Toba, you should try to understand, oh, there is no sloth in Toba in me. If it is so, then you must decide this all at 6 to argument medallity. If you want to decide this 6 to argument medallity, then if you want to decide idle cognitive process medallity, then you must decide eye transparent element, eye sensitivity, or <coughs> eye, eye do. Then here, point up my do. Both together. Then you should be addition a group of small body guys. When this color impinge, a group of small body guys color impinge both those at the day, I do cognitive process as well as my do cognitive process will arise successfully for many times. If it is so, then before you are discerning a demon yeah. mentality or idle cognitive process, you must already discern eye sensitivity. This is materiality. Then you must discern mind. This is also metaphorically, this is also materiality. So without discerning a demon mentality, eh, without discerning a demon materiality, you cannot understand, you cannot discern a demon materiality. Then this ideal cognitive process, mind cognitive process, realize color. Color is what? A group of small body gas color. Then you must try to see this small body gas. You must also analyze this small body gas. Then at that time you can understand color clearly. So if it is so, then <coughs> you must also try to design ultimate materiality before you are designing ultimate mentality. <coughs> so if it is so, if you want, if you design six to cognitive process, at that time you will understand you already design ultimate materiality as well as ultimate mentality. Okay? Then another sentence is Yataja Anubba Nasa Gami Chandasa Obado Hodi. How they are going to be the rising of no reason, slow and tough. Other than you should try to discern to the origination, you must discern cause and effect. How this comes to be? This is another sentence. Then another sentence is. Yadhaja Obba Nasa Kami Chanda Tina Medhasa Pahana Hoji. He also understands how they are going to be the abandoning of reason, sloth and topa. At the day, <coughs> you will understand while you are practicing samatha. For example, you are you attend jhana. That jhana. Samatha also, Samatha Janda concentration also can remove this slot in Doba temporarily because you can maintain your concentration one hour, two hours, three hours, etc. And then the slot in Doba is absent. So this is temporarily removing only, temporarily removing. But another is when you are practicing with Vasana, you deserve all mentality, materiality, including slot in Doba. You contemplate them as Nitya Toka Anatta. That inside knowledge also generally removes the sloth and Dhamma. But when you are inside Pika Mejua, 
One day you may a day but then in knowledge. At the end of you are inside knowledge, but in in knowledge will arise realizing Nibbana as object. That part in in knowledge systematically they will remove stage by stage or they will disappear this slot and tomba. So you should try to understand. Samatha consciousness, Samatha jhana also can remove the sloth and tomba temporarily. Vipassana inside also can remove sloth and tomba temporarily. Then, if you add a hardship, the arhapa will just try sloth and tomba completely without reminder. But you may ask, is there no sleepiness for arhas? <laughs> How do you think? Hmm? There may be one problem. Hmm? One problem is <coughs> one day Venerable Mahamoglana is meditating diligently. Diligently means maybe I think on the full Monday of January or maybe February around this time. Hmm? They became sort of pandas. By listening, <coughs> one stanza from Venerable Asaji. Asaji is the youngest Baiku among five group Baikus. Venerable Sari Buddha, huh? to be one Paripajaka Uba Desa. He listened this stanza from Venerable uh, Asaji. He do ma he do ba ba wa di sa he do da ta ga do a ha a sa ta. This stanza is relating follower to all. Our teacher, great samana, teach the noble truth of safari, the origin of the noble truth of safari, the noble truth of cessation of safari, the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of safari. Only this, he realized quickly, he began Sotapana. <laughs> then again he go back to his Venerable Mahamoglana to be hmm? called it He also retold re this sentence again to Venerable Mahamoglana. He also, while listening this stanza, he also began Sotapana. Why? Because they have fulfilled their paramis one us saying clear and hundred thousand eons. <laughs> <laughs> in time of a normal dancing program, huh? <laughs> one us saying clear and hundred thousand eons ago. <laughs> in the world, there are obvious hmm? normal dancing program. Maybe hundred thousand, hundred thousand years lifespan. At the time, they practice under the guise of Noma Dasi Bhutta, Samantha and Vipassana. After the Sankharu Bhakta Jnana states, they already understand Adhimic mentality, Adhimic materiality by their direct knowledge. This is the noble truth of Safari. They already understand dependent origination. This is the noble truth of the origin of Safari. These two noble truths they already understand. They contemplate them as Anicca or Dukkha or Nada. Hold on. 100,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> so they <coughs> diligently practice up to Sekharu Bhakta stage, the knowledge of equanimity towards formations. But they cannot attain any noble stage. Why? They want to become chief disciples. Both of them, they all together wish for to become chief disciples. So, normal Dasi Buddha also sees they will become chief disciples of our Koroma Buddha. So, normal Dasi Buddha also gave sure a definite prophecy near that candidate. So because of this reason, they cannot attain any noble stage. 
So within this a many one are saying here eh, uncountable eos and then hundred thousand eos. This within this many eos. They whenever they got any opportunity, they practice samadha as well as vipassana. Because of this paramis, when they listen a short stanza, stanza related to follower truths. They quickly understand because previously they already had been understand this follower truth. Hmm? Follower truth is they do not understand Subra mundane follower truth, but mundane follower truth they already understand. Mundane follower truth means here Dirata Sejah means the cessation of noble truth of suffering. But in this case, we must not inside also can understand the cessation of the virtue of suffering. This is not a second nibbana, unconditioned element. This cessation is because of, because of the rising of causes. The high aggregates rise. Because of the complete cessation of causes, Vijatana, Ubarana, Sankara, Kama, ignorance, craving, clinging, pollution, and formations, and coming forth. Because of these five causes cease completely with the Armada, five aggregates also cease completely with the Armada at the Pranibana stage. So they we must not exactly understand these two types of cessation. The complete cessation of cause, complete cessation of effect, five aggregates. We must not exactly see this complete cessation also called Nirota Sija. This is this Nirota Sija is can be understood by we personal inside knowledge. Then that in, that inside knowledge five noble pole parts are present. Five means samadhi. There samadhi inside understands the no five aggregates. So this is noble truth of suffering. There samadhi understand the origin of suffering. This is the very origination. They already understand. Then, there, some deity understands the because of the rising, the, because of the complete cessation of causes, five aggregates cease completely without remainder. This is Nirada Sita. There, some deity also understand inside knowledge. Because while they are contemplating Vipassana, they must also contemplate inside knowledge also nature. For example, he said, ultimate materiality also nature. The inside knowledge also nature. They must contemplate. At that time, they can see their samadhi. Then, together with samadhi, there is application of the mind to the Dukha Seja object, to the Smurya Seja object, to the Niroda Seja object, to the Monday Nova Troop. Uh, the part of the to the noble truth of suffering, money yeah? maker such an object. So, samajiti samasgaba is present. At the time, mindfulness, mindfulness of these noble truths, also present because they are always associated. Then there is samawayama, right effort, trying to understand these money for noble truths. This effort is also present. Then Sama Samadhi like concentration. Other than they have jhana concentration as well as vipassana concentration. Both concentrations are present in there. So Samadhi, right understanding, Sama Sangamba, right thinking, Sama Vayama, right effort, Sama Sadi, right mindfulness, Sama Samadhi, right concentration. These five noble parts are present in their insight knowledge. When they are contemplating their inside knowledge, they can clearly see these five noble parts. But before they are practicing vipassana, or when they are practicing vipassana, vipassana, they already taking precepts. So there is samavacha, right speech, samagamada, right action, samavajiva, right livelihood. These three are also present. So all together, noble a full part. Monday, noble a full part. So they already understand these four noble truths. 
by inside knowledge many 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 times <laughs> so because of this reason when they are listening short stanza they can they easily understand the phone over rules because at the time they are for me also become a because before they are seen venerable uh, as a jit. they are practicing samatha diligently because there is no teacher to show how to practice vipassana, they cannot practice. At that time, in India, there are many teachers who can teach samatha meditation, like Alara, Udaga, etc. There are many teachers. Our Bodhisattva, before enlightened one, he also practiced under the guidance of Alara, Udaga. He tried eight attainments. In the same way, Benarime Sariputta, Benarime Mahamagalanda, whenever they hear any teacher who can teach meditation, they go and they really they learn and they can practice his samatha very easy. So they have enough concentration. Their Barami also become mature. Because of this reason, why listening is stanza, short stanza. They begin enlightened one, well, but they begin Sadhapana only. After they, when they began Sondabana, on that evening they went to Wiliwana Monastery, where Buddha was at the day hmm, dwelling in that monastery. So Buddha gave, hmm, Buddha called the Ehi Veku, oh, Veku, please come, hmm, practice in this, hmm, in this dispensation. I already expounded well, hmm, please practice in this. Hmm, Dispensation in this way, Buddha they, they began uh, um, because hmm? with already, already balls and rocks are already. It is not necessary to shake, <laughs> <laughs> all are begin ready. Eh? So, on that evening, all began in because, but except Venerable Sari Buddha and Venerable Mahamoglada. Their disciples all together, 250, they all began a has on that day. When Buddha is born, one Dhamma, one discourse, hmm? all began a has. But they, these two cannot begin a has. So, Venerable Mahavaglanda, they gave permission from the Buddha. He went to a village. Near where there is a deep forest, Kangla Wala, Buddha, come a village. Hmm? And then, in that forest, he practiced diligently Samatha and Vipassana mm -hmm. for seven days. One of three days, he practiced diligently, only just walking, standing, and sitting only. But on seventh day, when he is meditating, sleepiness appears in him. And then day Buddha visit to him, and Buddha gave seven instructions, huh? eight instructions. Number one is, one should pay no attention to the descending drowsiness. One meditating drowsiness appear, they should not pay attention to this drowsiness. If they pay uh, attention to that drowsiness, then sleepiness will be more and more. What they should be there, they should pay attention to the, their own meditation object only. If they do not pay meditation, their own meditation object, if they pay attention to that drowsiness, then drowsiness will become stronger and stronger. This is one method. Hmm? The another method is one should reflect on the Dhamma. If drowsiness or sleepiness cannot be dispelled, hmm, then you should reflect or you should review the Dhamma. Especially in this case, Dhamma means the teachings of Buddha, such as Pridas or Dhamma Chaka Bodhana Sodha, Nada Lakana Sodha, etc. You should, uh, the, if you memorize these dhammas, then you should reflect by mentally these dhammas. This is changing the object only. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention, for example, you are practicing anabana, and then the sleepiness of the, uh, 
Then if you get addition, this unabundant again, the sleepiness will be increased. Because of this reason, you should change a little bit of that. You should change the mark, this review mentally only. Hmm? You should review this Thomas. If you cannot please memorize Thomas, then you should memorize it did be so Bhagavad. Huh? Okay? <laughs> you can recite this. Huh? Mm. The another is number three. Once you repeat or recite the Dhamma, if you memorize mentally, the sleepiness will stay there. Then you should, re you should recite. Bhavali. Bhavali. Eh? Mm -hmm. Etc. In this way, you should recite. Hmm? Then drowsiness or sleepiness will appear. Will be, will disappear. Then number four. If it does not work well, then number four. One should pull both earlobes. Hmm? Earlobes. Hmm? <laughs> and rub, rub, message, message the limbs with the hands. Hmm? You should rub like that, hmm? and this way you should do. But if it is also not what, then sleepiness is still there, then you should try number five. One should get up from the sitting position. Apply water and rub the eyes. Hmm? And then look into the distance. You should try. You should look at distance. Hmm? At the constellations and the starry sky. You should try to see starry sky. Hmm? Many stars. You should try to see one, two, three, four, <laughs> etc. In this way. Hmm? If you do in this way, then slow the endoba may disappear. If it is not okay, then number seven. Once you reflect on the perception of light, once you reflect the, on the perception of light, there are two types. Some meditators, they cannot yet see light. For those, they should try, they should open their eyes and they should see these lights, etc. Hmm? If they die, then you should try to see sunlight. If night die, then you should try to see starlight, moonlight, etc. All these electric lights. Hmm? Different types of light you should try to see. If it is so, then this sleepiness may disappear. Hmm? Slow the top but may disappear. But if it is not work in this way, then number seven or oh, another one. In this case, Benarivar Muhammad Rana practicing divine and sex power because he is expert in sex power. So at that time, he is also practicing divine and sex power. He can practice along, he can meditate along the casino. Hmm? He can practice Aloga Kasina as a foundation for divine and sex power. Because of this reason, Buddha suggests him eh, to practice this divine and sex power. Okay. When they are practicing divine and sex power, they must especially emphasize Aloga Kasina, like Kasina. They should try to spread this like Kasina up to infinite universe. And then they, must, they should concentrate on that like casino up to fourth channel. If they attain up to fourth channel, at that time light will be very strong and powerful. Then they should again extend this light up to infinite universe. Then they should break this five channel, second channel, third channel, eh? up to excess concentration of fourth channel. At the day, Light will be very strong. If night day, if he try in this way, like Gesina, Aloka Gesina, he day also he must try in the same way. Night day also he must try in the same way. Then there will be no difference day and night for him. Whole day and the whole night will be light. 
everywhere. You should try again in this way. Then, if leg is very strong, then you can dispel slug and tomba or sleepiness. This is for Venerable Muhammad Vlanda, Buddha's situation. But for many meditators, if they can practice Aloka Kasina, at that time, they should go back to Aloka Kasina. It is better. If when they are practicing Aloka Kasina, they should try to extend this Kasina saga up to infinite universe, and then they should concentrate on that Kasina object up to Pope Chana. At that time, put, because of the Pope Chana concentration, Kasina light will become strong and powerful. Because of this reason also, sleepiness or stroke and trouble will disappear. But if they are practicing Anabana, for example, they should go back to Anabana again. Hmm? They, while they are practicing Anabana, if they see Nimida, then they should concentrate on that Nimida up to four channels. When they reach up to four channels, light will be very strong, powerful. And then they also this sleepiness or sloth and tomba will disappear. Hmm? Okay. This is one way. Then number seven. When this way also fall, hmm? not successful, to dispel sloth and tomba. Then another way is one should fix the thought on the walking meditation part. Aware of the ends of it with the senses stands and was in the mind keeps cut in. The meaning is he should get up. Hmm? He should get up and walk on the walking path. When he is walking path, he should not pay attention any any object. He should pay attention only the end of walking path and turn back and then another end of walking path. At the day, he should cut his mind in his body only. In other words, he should cut his mind in his meditation, on his meditation object only. So, when walking, he must contemplate his meditation object. When he is practicing anabana, he should practice when walking. When he is practicing four limits meditation, he is also, he should practice four limits meditation when walking. In this way, when they are Okay, they should practice their own meditation subject only. Then this is another way. But if it is also not what, how you should do? Please sleep. Please <laughs> 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 sleep for a few minutes only, not for a long time. <laughs> when I will get that, you should decide before sleeping. I will get that maybe b about 3 p.m. 3 a.m. Mm. 3 a.m. I will get that about 3 a.m. Is in this way you should decide and then please try to sleep. Okay? This is, this, these are eight ways hmm, to dispel sloth and tomba. So, if you can dispel sloth and tomba in this way, then mind will become fresh. And then, then please go back to your meditation object. When you can concentrate well, one day, if you gain this uh, ultimate mentality, meditation, they are causes, and if you can contemplate them as any chattoka anatta, depending on your barami, you may be a raha. At that time, this so and toba will disappear completely without a mind. Huh? Okay. Then, the, another one is very dangerous one. Another two is restlessness and remorse. This is very dangerous one. Huh? <laughs> Always addition to mental agitation brings about restlessness and remorse. Always, adi uh, always addition to mental agitation. What is mental agitation? Whether it is true or not, I don't know. Huh? Mental agitation is Men in a turbulence. Is it true? Turbulence. 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 Turbul
Yeah. Inner turbulence. Yeah. No external turbulence. <laughs> this is a very dangerous one. While meditating, they produce many problems. Many problems means while meditating here, go away. When meditate here, go away. <laughs> Ah, uh, come back, go away, come back, go away. <laughs> Many times they are very dangerous. Hmm? So, this is another one problem. Another problem is remorse. Everybody had many problems. This is natural. Many problems means they had been done, they had done wrong actions, wrong speech, wrong livelihoods. In this very lack of Erono River. This is natural. Why? Because of this wrong actions, wrong speech, and wrong livelihood, we cannot escape from this wrong river. This is natural. Eh? So everybody has many, some maybe have many, much, or some maybe have less. This only difference. Everybody has this, this wrong round doing, round speech, and round livelihood. But if you can remember this round action again, then remorse appear. This is, you are accumulating another unwholesome karma. While you are doing round speech, or round action, or round livelihood, other than also unwholesome you you already accumulated unwholesome karma. Again, you remember this wrong actions, then you feel remorse. This is also, again, you are accumulating new and wholesome to mass. Okay. If you again gain remorse, then again, again, you are accumulating and wholesome to mass. Again, again. They will increase. For example, Losaka Tisa. Losaka Tisa is the disciple of Venerable Sariboda. He is kind of a Kasava Buddha. He is a bhikkhu who stays in the forest. About 2000 years, he diligently practiced Samatha Vipassana, but not yet successful. <laughs> you should not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one arahat. Goes and throw in the village. The donor of his monastery, he had a lot of confidence to the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. So, when he see this bhikkhu, he had a lot of confidence, hmm? many sadha, full of sadha. So he invited this bhikkhu to his house and he sat. Hmm? He offered delicious food. Delicious food, uh, not like this food, maybe. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Very delicious food. Then, after that, <coughs> after that, he invited that Arhapanku, please stay in my monastery. I already offered this monastery to Bhikkhus in such and such a place. So he carried this Bhikkhu to his monastery. And then, he invited again tomorrow, the previous Bhikkhu <coughs> and this new Bhikkhu, both please come to my house for my offer, to accept my offerings. But the previous one, this is Los Gatesa, hmm? he had a lot of jealousy. When he saw this Bhikkhu, he felt uncomfortable because of jealousy. So next morning, he alone go to the donor's house. He did not call another New Bhikkhu. So he eat there. No? When the donor asked, where is another one? Oh, he is very sleepy. He is sleepy. No, get that now. <laughs> and this way he do. And then, after me, the donor, the, the Dayagar devotee, eh? the devotee watch his bow. Eh? Offer another different types of books, very delicious books. Please carry this book to that new Pico. On the way, he opened his book. <laughs> he see, oh, very delicious book. <laughs> if that Pico eat this food, he will not go away from this monastery. So he throw on the 
Bunny. Bunny, 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 fire. But what called? One tree is funny. When that fire he he pulled out of this book. At the day, the you are happy to understand his nature. So because of this reason, he go away from this guy to somewhere. At the day, he saw this boy going from the sky. At the day, he caught a lot of remorse. This is his unfortunate mark. Whenever he remembers this essay, he always feels a happiness the most. Again, he is accumulating this Ahosantama. Whenever he remembers this, then he feels a, a lot of remorse. So he accumulated Ahosantama again and again within nearly 20,000 years. <coughs> so, although he, another, on the other hand, he had purification of virtue, his morality is very good. He tried hard Samatha Vipassana, but not yet successful. Although he had not yet successful up to noble stage, partially he is successful. But near that moment, he remembered this Ahosantama uh, again. He felt a heaviness. Because of this reason, he cannot control his mind. He cannot dispel this object. This object is appear in his mind and then of death. So because of this reason, after that, he go down here. Many, many, hundred thousand, many thousand, many thousand years he suffer in hell. But when our Buddha appear in this world, at the day he came up from hell, and then he was reborn in a fisherman's village. The whole village, when he was taken pregnant in mother's womb, the whole village cannot catch any fish. All, <laughs> all began suffering. So they divide village into two bushes. His part, no one can catch any fish. The other part is okay. Then again they divide. Then his part cannot catch anyone. The others okay. Then in this way they divide, divide, divide again, again. Then only one house. <laughs> then his house cannot catch anyone. Then they drive away. Please go. You cannot stay in this village. <laughs> then when he is seven years old, his mother cannot stand because they cannot get any suitable food because of him. So he drive away, <laughs> give away one cut in his hand. Please go and please, please pack food for yourself. Then please go and drive away. At that time only they came to their work well. One day Venerable Sariboda saw him. He feel a lot pity. Eh? So because of this reason he ordained him as a Samnira. But taking this Samnira when he is going for Armstrong in the village, no one noticed him. Of course not a man. The most is very dangerous. So he cannot, he cannot he never eats enough food the whole life. So one day he takes permission, but he tried hard meditation, but he began a hard. Although he began a hard, whenever someone bore some food to his, in his bowl, the, the, the food disappeared. Because of his unwholesome drama. Because of this reason, <coughs> One day he took permission from Venerable Sariboda, he will take Trinibana. So Venerable Sariboda <laughs> wants to feed him one food, a nut food. So please stay here. I will come back. When I am come, come back, at the day only, please try to take food. So in this way, Venerable Sariboda only lonely, he go, went to the village for arms. Then he got and left arm. And then, then he wanted to go back to monastery. Then devotees asked, Oh, please do not go back. Please take me here. Oh, there is one, my disciple. Oh, you, for your disciple, we will send. Then they let send other people to, to the monastery. That people also don't want to go to monastery. They eat on the way. <laughs> All finished. <laughs> so when we never said go back to the monastery, if you uh, get any meat, oh, nothing. When I remember, I again, take the bowl and then go to the village. 
then he got a lot chetu madhu do you understand chetu madhu yeah. chetu madhu is oil vada ghee oil vada uh, honey sugar hmm? these four mixed together <coughs> maybe there is ratio hmm? so mixed together this is called chetu madhu so a lot chetu madhu and then in this case he understand not to give <laughs> because if he pour up his in his bowl all will disappear he understand so because of this he grasp his bowl this day <laughs> so on that day only he take enough food and then bring it back so because of this he say this slow the toba and be removed this very thing that is because of jealousy so you should disperse this, this remorse again hmm? then how you should try to re- rebel this remorse hmm? Buddha says hmm? Sandhava Ijjada Odecha Kokoja Ajime Ijjada Odecha Kokoja Di Pajana Di A Sandhava Ijjada Odecha Kokoja Natime Ijjada Odecha Kokoja Di Pajana Di Yadhaja Nubana Sa Odecha Kokoja Kokoja Sa Obada Hodi Denja Pajana Di Yadhaja Obana Sa Odecha Kokoja Kokoja Sa Pahana Hodi Denja Pajana Di Yadhaja Pahina sa odeja kokoja sa ayade no bado hodi tenja pajana di. They are being remorse and restless and remorse. Ebeku understands there is remorse, restless and remorse in me. They are being no remorse, no restless and remorse in him. He understands there is no restless and remorse in him. He also understands how they are going to be the rising of no arising restlessness and remorse. And he also understands how they are going to be the abandoning of reason, restless, restlessness and remorse. He also understands the How they are going to be the non-future rising of abandoned restlessness and eh? remorse in this way for that thought. So, if there is restless and remorse, you should try to understand there is restless and remorse in me. How you should try? You must discern the restless and remorse again. Hmm? This is Odeja Kokocha. Hmm? <coughs> Odeja is restless mind. It is always accompanied with All unwholesome tamas. Remorse is one type of dosa. Hmm? Unhappiness. Right. So that dosa group also you should try to discern. At that time you will understand how you begin restless, how you, you have restless, how you have remorse. Dif- taking different objects. Hmm? So taking these different objects, if you treat unhappiness, remorse, then you should take again this object. You should discern Bhunga, you should de- s- take this object. Then when this object <coughs> appears in your mind, then the remorse will appear. But restless is o- always associated with uh, all unwholesome tamas. You can do any unwholesome tamas, no problem, you will understand restless. Okay. Hmm? <coughs> then if there is rest- no restlessness in remorse, we should try to understand There is no restless eh, remorse in me. But other cognitive process rest. When other cognitive processes, especially wholesome tamas, such as samadha, vipassana, cognitive process arising, passing away at that time, this restless eh, remorse will not appear in your mind. Hmm? You should also try to understand this. So you must discern all mentality, mentality, including restless eh, remorse. At that time you will understand, oh, there is restless and remorse, there is no restless and remorse. In this way you will be able to understand well. Hmm? Then another is, <coughs> you must contemplate this ultimate mentality, materiality as nature together, together with their causes. When you are inside become which you are, then one day you may attain, you may realize Nibbana. You are about the approaching knowledge which realized Nibbana will destroy 
the final match stage plan stage. But remorse can be destroyed by no radana path knowledge. Restless can be destroyed only by raham path knowledge. So please try to attain righteousness. At the day, you will understand. My friend never will face it to me. <laughs> okay. The another is commentary explains six ways to remove restlessness and remorse. Hmm? Number one, being learned in the Buddha's teaching. If you have a lot of learning knowledge, then you can also easily can remove this restless and remorse. Because you already understand Buddha's teaching, how to practice samatha, how to practice vipassana, how to destroy this defilement. Many knowledges are mentioned eh, in the Buddha's teaching. If you become a learned one, then you can easily understand how to remove this restlessness and eh, remorse. Then another is number two is questioning. If you do not understand thoroughly, then you should ask teachers. It is also good. Hmm? Then number three is understanding of disciplinary rules. You should try to understand Vinaya rules. Hmm? Vinaya rules are you must, we must follow for purification of Paju. We must follow this Vinaya rules taught by Buddha. Hmm? You should also try to understand these rules. Hmm? If you understand these rules, then remorse will be disappear. Restless also may be slowly disappear. Why? Remorse is remembering bad actions which you had done previously. But if you understand Winnie rules thoroughly, monastic rules, huh? monastic code, huh? uh, they oneself in the practice of drama, like morality. There are many senior bhikkhus who understand Winnie rules thoroughly. If he do not understand thoroughly, then he should associate with these such vehicles. But if he associate with bad vehicles, and they know that many remorse will be <laughs> so very dangerous. Huh? Association with good friends or good teachers also necessary. The number five is sympathetic and helpful companionship. Who you should associate with teachers who practice Medha Bhavana, Loving Kindness, Krumna Bhavana, Sambhita, hmm? Chai, hmm? Simbi, uh, sim, uh, Compassion, hmm? Krumna Compassion, Meditation. Such teachers you should associate. Hmm? They will be admonished to you, oh, such a degree of mind is not good. You should dispel this a degree of mind. Such a degree attitude of mind is very good. You should try to develop such attitude of mind. In this way, they will admonish. So because of this reason, association with good teachers also necessary. Hmm? Number six is stimulating thought that helps the rejection of restlessness and remorse. To rebel, hmm? to dispel this remorse and restlessness. Suitable dog is necessary. They are chattering, chattering too much. One hour, two hour. <laughs> then, while they are meditating, these different objects are always visiting one by one. <laughs> so, that unsuitable dog is not necessary. Hmm? When you are talking about meditation, it is okay, no much problem. But only few words, it will be better. If you talk for a long time, then concentration will decrease. So talking is very dangerous. So all together there are six ways. Hmm? But if you want to remove this, then you should try to decide argument mentality, argument material in their causes, and then you must contemplate them as an issue to that. This is the best way. Hmm? Okay. Any question? Um, Sada, you had asked the question earlier whether or not an arhat becomes sleepy. And I'm wondering, would the arhat become yes, sleepy? Yes, yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. And would become uh, any of these other... Yes, yes, I forget. Hmm? 
Because of body meat, then you have the next sleepiness in the tracks, but not because of sloth and tapa. Because of body meat, then you have the next. Like when I refer to Mahamba Bhagavan. Because he is diligently practicing Samatha Vipassana for seven days without sleeping. Here, how many person? <laughs> Including me. <laughs> so, because of bodily tiredness, sleepiness may be a pause or a rest. Not because of sloth and tapa. For, for any chance of attainment, so much seems to depend on the paramis. Is there a way I can look at my own and find out if I have any chance? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe if you read the okay, dependent origination states, mm -hmm. when you are descending, you are dependent origination, especially first causes. Other than you can see. But I research many meditators. Usually they have parami, but the, so for some meditators, their parami is a little bit far away. Between there are many lives. These lives they do not meditate, but they have been practiced Samatha Vipassana maybe 10 lives ago or 20 lives ago in this way. So because of this reason, between these two, if they have a lot of suffering, suffering means they, 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 are rebo they were reborn in woeful states. So at the time, their parami is a little bit far away. Because of this reason, in this very life, when they are meditating, they cannot meditate well. This is one reason. Another reason is, according to Lady Sierra's opinion, huh? Lady Sierra is a famous meditator in our country, maybe more than 100 years ago. Hmm? According to his, uh, his opinion, everybody must have parami. At least they have been, had been practiced for early meditation in previous life. It is not, he thinks. For early meditation, only 12 characteristics. Hmm? If they had been practiced this 12 characteristics in previous life, it is not for their academy of global ship. But if they had been tested academic materiality and mentality, this is very good. But if they had been tested academic mentality and materiality, they, they are causes to be the origination. It is second good. But if they had been contemplating this academic mentality and materiality, they are causes as nature took another. Abdul the Sankaru Bhakanyana states, the knowledge of equanimity towards formations, it is better, best, this is best. But I research many meditators. So one strange there is one meditator who had to be practiced in previous life, close to previous life, as a bhikkhu, he had been practiced Anabana Abdul Fort Jana. It is very easy. Then based on this Samatha, he gives an argument materiality and argument materiality. And then he contemplates them as nature to Kanata. It is okay. But he did not practice the very origination. This is his problem. Because of this reason, as a Vigo in previous life, although he meditated, he cannot attain any double ship. But in this very life, I teach him four elements meditation. Within one day or two days, he can see Galabas, very easy. <laughs> Within 12 days, he can already design ultimate mentality, materiality, very quick. And then I teach dependent origination, other than that only a little bit delay. Although it is delay, maybe within one month, he can practice with Vipassana Bharati. So, some meditators, they had been accumulated they are parami in many, many lives ago. So if it is very far away, sometimes they may delay. But if it is very close, they are very quick. But we should not investigate too much about parami. 
if we add day, no value shift, it is very good. But if you cannot add day, then we are accumulating for me now. Mm. Okay? Mm. Any question? Okay, okay. Mm. So if, um, it's better not to commit any bad acts. Yes, yes. Please forget it is better. But, but if you did, if you were angry or if you did a bad act, is it then better not to have remorse so that you don't enter these unwholesome... Um, um, I mean, how can you have a bad act without remorse? And if you have a bad act and you have remorse, it sounds like it's worse for you. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. It is. It's worse. Hmm. Worse means you are accumulating no new a host on karma. Previously you had re accumulated a host on karma. This is why. Now if you remember, you you feel remorse. This is again you are accumulating new a host on karma. Again you remember, then you feel happiness remorse. This is you are accumulating new a host on karma. Again, again, if you remember, then again, again, you are, you feel uh, remorse, then you are accumulating many, many a whole sort of mass. If one is not so strong, no. many is very strong. Why are you trouble? Yes, yes, trouble. So, because of this reason, if you can forget, it is better. If you cannot forget, then please try meditate, then please try chana. Maybe within one hour, two hours, if you give many, you are good sensation, and then you will not remember. This jhana is very powerful. <laughs> then based on this jhana, you should try to contemplate this jhana to okay? mm. You may attain no worship. You should emulate Venari by Ngulimala. Do you know Ngulimala? Yes, yes. yes. He killed many people. Yes. But he, he did not remorse. He practiced her diligently. Then he began Raha. When he began Raha, all Ahosan Kamas finished. They cannot produce any more. Not only Ahosan Kamas, but Ahosan Kamas also cannot produce any new existence. All seeds completely. He can forget everything. Dependence. Oh. Mm. Dependence the to to make well, amends for something, to repent, okay, to make okay. amends. Repentance, okay. I mean, I mean, repentance is confessing, um, yeah. confessing his fault. Huh? Please, please choose me. Mm -hmm. I am, I had been done such and such wrong to you, so please forgive me. In this way, he trying uh, forgiveness. Hmm? to gain forgiveness. This is a good way for that also thought. If you if you had any wrongdoing to noble ones, maybe for example if you choose, hmm, then you cannot attain any noble shape. But it cannot be harm to attain higher place. Higher place, higher place after that. But before that if you break this samatha vipassana, then you cannot improve. Just one story. Maybe two bhikkhus are going for Amsara in the village. One Arha bhikkhu, he had a lot, uh, what called, stomach pain. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This is weight, weight problem, because of weight problem. So when they are going early in the morning to the village, at that day, many devotees and Asra, they were what called cruel, hmm? rice cruel. Hmm. So they one in front of one, one house, they offer cruel to these two vehicles because there is many stomach pain. So because of this is a nearby there is one many many hooks, many hooks, hmm? timber timber hooks are huh? mm -hmm. putting together on that floor. Hmm? He said and he did because cruel is very hot. And then the hot cruel, rice cruel will be uh, would be helpful to go down this way. Mm -hmm. So he did. But another young bhikkhu, oh, 
how how bad we could eh? mm. in such a place why he should do like that mm. very very hungry we could mm. we should not do like that in this way he condemned so mm. Arhab we could he got a lot some we got hmm? mm. it's very good agency but he did not tell anything when they go back to the monastery he had a lot of pity to that we could have you any uh, endemic Oh, I'm begin Sodabana. Then if you begin Sodabana, you should not practice anymore. In this way, that Rabbi could do. Then that young Rabbi could think about, deeply about this problem. Then he, he went to confess. Then he went to that Mahathira. When he <coughs> is going to Mahathira to apologize, no? and then the Mahathira in the Hindu, Jana, and he creates such power. He is sitting on the sky in his good <laughs> to understand how he is eh, to understand only and then, then he apologized he, eh, he to repent this mm. then he gave me the well and then no problem but if they do not do that apologize eh, do not apologize then when he meditate you cannot add any higher achievement but sotabana is sotabana no problem but he cannot be the Sagadagami or Nagami or Arahat. Um, so, uh, Sayana, if somebody has a tendency towards restlessness or sloth and torpor, and they, they're capable of studying dependent origination, they can go back in past lives and see where that originated or where that may have come up. Is that correct? Maybe this is a wholesome drama. A wholesome drama's proximate cause is only unwise at the same only. This is a proximate cause. <coughs> but first causes cannot produce directly this to the wholesome drama. But having to break this can be as a little tendency can follow. What was that again? Having to break this as a little tendency, they, may, they can follow. Allow the metal and material in series, allow mm -hmm. sansara. My meaning is, when you are accumulating wholesome dhammas in previous life, your wholesome dhamma is surrounded by restless and remorse. Mm -hmm. For example, hmm? mm -hmm. you may also have been done wrong doings in previous life. When you are accumulating wholesome dhammas, you may have a lot of remorse, a lot of restless. Your wholesome dharma is surrounded by this remorse and restless. When this wholesome dharma produces five aggregates in this very life, then this remorse and restless follow as a little tendency along the mental series and material series. Mm. So because of this reason, in this life also you have a lot of remorse. You may feel a lot of remorse. You may feel, you may have a lot restless mind. This is because of previous life. Maybe according to your own language, hmm? monkey mind. <laughs> 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 monkey mind, <laughs> monkey mind. <laughs> As a habitual little tendency only, but they cannot directly produce. Mm -hmm. and, and one more question. The mental material series that follows yeah. from one lifetime to another, yeah. where is that stored? Maybe sometimes a little bit difficult to explain. Hmm? When you practice mm -hmm. the dependent origination, other than only you can clearly understand. Here's one tree. One day, that tree can produce fruit. For example, there's one mango tree. One day, when it is bigger, mature, the, it, that tree can produce fruit. Before fruit is coming out, that fruit is for ya. It's latent potential. Yes, yes, potential, potentiality. It, what is this potentiality? If you cut down the tree, if you uh, if you divide this tree, you cannot see this potentiality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is potentiality? It is not easy to search for. In the same way only. 
mentality material we can see no we can understand but as a little tendency only this is not rising and passing away as a little energy only so this energy is form it is not easy to explain like in the inside the tree there is energy to produce potentiality to produce proof we can accept form one day we can see the proof because of this reason in inside the tree there is potentiality in the same way only one day we can see this result hmm? uh, a lot in green person <laughs> we can see it clearly oh, he had accumulated whole on mass when he is accumulated whole on mass to produce this aggregate at that time many angles are surrounded in his whole on mass we can clearly understand because of both as they say Okay. <laughs> uh, so, since we all know we have done some unhealthy karma before, we must have been so we we know as person, and the uh, the repentance, the ask for forgiveness can can kind of uh, how to say get rid of those kind of the karma maybe. So, but we don't know who we who have done those bad karma too, and. Uh, so if we just do the repentance in front of Buddha's statues and just, just say, I must have done something wrong and uh, I hope I can get the forgiveness and uh, this that, will that work? If you do not know, it is okay, no problem. In front of one people or one in front of teacher also, okay, no problem. But you may have been done wrong, uh, you may have done any wrong doing for one person. Mm -hmm. that, person that person also passed away. If you know that person, then you should go to the cemetery on that cemetery, <laughs> on that what one? True stone. The the skip the marker. Basically, true stone. On that place, you should also do repentance. But if you yes, you cannot remember the in front of teacher or in front of Buddha, then you should do. It is also okay, no much problem. But because of this reason in our country, always every day when they are taking precept, this repentance always do. Every day. Every day they take precept, then they, every day they do. Because mind is very quick. Sometimes maybe, oh, why she is doing like that? Why he is, she is doing like that? In this way, they may, they may tell. So, Sometimes we, we do not understand who is Arha, who is Sotapana, who is Noval One, we do not say is it enough. Because when they begin Noval One, they, their body changes. Then we can understand this is Noval <laughs> but body also not change. <laughs> because of this reason, it is not easy to understand correctly. No, two vehicles. Young vehicles do not understand this old senior vehicle is Arha. We do not understand. Thank you very much. I think that release a lot of burden. No. <laughs> but another question, so that you just say, sometimes we say, oh, why he did that way, why she did that way. Do we need to really go to that person to apologize, to, <laughs> to ask forgiveness, or just... But that way is, if you got, you are controlling faculties, it is better. You should not try to see others' faults. <laughs> <laughs> it is better. You should practice in this way. Another way is put that dot in one soda. And I'm going to take a soda and send it to any guy. There is no one who, who, is, who, had be, who had not been your mother or your father or your sister, your son, your daughter, etc. In round of river, everybody can be your father or your mother, your son or your daughter or your husband, etc. Because Sansara, uh, the course of Rana Riba is very long. Because of this reason, who oh, they are, now they may be different, but they are my fathers, they are my mothers, they are my sons, my daughters. In this way, if you can see everybody, then this problem will not disappear. <laughs> I think my army is not strong enough because I know those kind of teachings. But I do have that kind of feeling about people should do the right thing. 
-hmm. you know, instead just accept what they have done. So I did have that kind of feeling about why should he do this way, okay? So, but I don't know if I just go to ask forgiveness to the person, I kind of make things more complicated or hard. Okay. So, okay. so just, just do in front of Buddha, will that be better? Okay, no much problem, but no, it is. For example, in this country, no one wants to really be very rare. So because of this reason, if you confess in front of Buddha, this is also okay. But my suggestion is Sabi Sada Kamasaka. All beings have their own, uh, their own karma as their own property. Mm -hmm. So his karma will produce uh, result to him. Mm -hmm. My karma produ will produce to me, in this way, if you get pay addition, this, uh, this attitude might is already slowly less. His gamma is his own property, that gamma will produce to him. My gamma is my own property, that gamma will produce to me. In this way, if you can reflect him, in this problem, you can forget. Yes, a uh, couple of days ago, you told this uh, mm. I think it's very helpful because when I the first thought come up, then the second thought is about the teaching, you know, just follow. Then the third one is remorse. <laughs> 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 so, so I will. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Mm. So, you know, I have a question. It sounds like, I, I think what you're saying then is that if one criticizes a noble one, there's a problem. But and as you said, in America, we don't have that many noble ones, but we're constantly criticizing each other. Maybe it seems like that's a problem also, meaning, huh? My meaning is it is not good, but if you criticize noble ones, then this whole Santama will be one type of hindrance to ending China or Maga. This is <coughs> my meaning only. But this is a whole Santama. To criticize others is not good. So not to criticize how you should practice. You should pretend not to see any other. Do <laughs> what? You should pretend not to see anybody. It is better. You should get you are controlling faculties. It is better. Robert has a question. I have a question. So they're going back to the um, the business about remorse. In in a culture like ours, it's, ba it's a Judeo-Christian culture. We're taught from the time we're very young that shame or remorse is the road to repentance. So that it's good to have feel shame and remorse in a way. Because it will be the thing that propels us to repent, to confess and repent. So, if that's not true, what is a skillful way to deal with that sense of shame or remorse when we remember something that we regret having done? Mm. Shame is you have shamefulness to remember this Ahosa tea. Do you mean this? Uh, well, what, I'm not sure I'm understanding what you're responding to. What I'm saying is that <coughs> we're taught that shame or remorse are the same in a way, and that that's actually the road to repentance. That if we feel remorse, we'll be propelled in some way to repent and to make amends for what we've done wrong. So my question is, if remorse is not a good, if we're just creating bad karma or whatever, uh, what is a skillful way to deal with that feeling when it comes up, when we remember, oh, I did this, I wish I hadn't done that, this was not a nice thing, this was a bad thing. So what is a good, what, what is a skillful? If you can forget, it is better. If you can not forget, this is a problem. Just forget it. Yes, but shame and remorse not same. Shame is, according to our own traditional way of translation, shame is shame of bad doings. Of what? Bad actions, bad speech, etc. Mm -hmm. This is good. Shame is very good. Fear also very good. 
remote is happiness only. Remote, when you remember this, as oh, you feel the happiness. So you're making a distinction there. Yes, yes. A happiness only. The happiness, if you cannot remember, it is better. But if you can remember again, again, then best way is you should practice some metaphy but in a successful it is better. <laughs> so so remorse would be as though if you if you remembered it and felt unhappy and you just got stuck in your unhappiness. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And shame would be shame if shame of wrong doing wrong as this is good. Okay. Fear of wrong doing wrong as this is also good. Okay. Okay. The most men regret is better, no? Regret. Regret. Yes. Rather than shame. No, 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 do an example, otherwise I don't know how to ask the question. So let's let's say that uh, Rita and I, um, in our mm. past, the life before this one, in the last life, Rita and I, we were both uh, men and we were brothers, and we lived in India. Okay. Okay. We were okay. So. Now, in, in this life, um, we are meditating and we both reach the dependent origination stage. So we can see our past lives and we can see, oh, I lived in India and I had a brother. Um, but do I know that this brother, like, is there something recognizable about that person that when I look at Rita, I know that I recognize that in Rita. Like, is there, is there something? Okay. Is it clear? You know, my, my meaning is this. Yeah? When you are accumulating whole swantama in previous life, if you had to be accumulated together, it is very easy. But if you do separately, it is not easy. Together means maybe when you are being addition to previous life, hmm? to this uh, causes, <coughs> the being origination, for example, you may see a group of persons, four or five, for example, eh? together they are offering flowers to the Buddha or to the Jediya. At the day, this object appears near that moment in your past life. That object appears in your point of view. Hmm? Then you should trace to this and the Maruba mentality, media, the story up to really you are offering as a group flowers to the Chidiya. Chidiya, do you know? Hmm? So at the day, there are four or five persons. Then you should try to design one person, mentality, materiality, beginning four elements. Hmm? Because at the day, when you are designing to be the origination, you must already be designed argument, mentality, materiality, internally, and externally. Hmm? At the day only you can design first number of mentality, materiality. So, when you are designing one person, mentality, you must begin four elements at that time. Four elements of that person. You should design four elements. Eh? If when you see clubbers, you should analyze these clubbers. Then you can design argument materiality. Then, you sh if you design six places, then you can design argument materiality, especially hard place. If you can design hard place, you can see point up my door. And that, at that time, point up my door. Then again, you can design forward and backward mentality, mentality. You can see nama rupa. Hmm? If you can see ultimate mentality, mentality nama rupa, 
Then that Nama Rumba is real, you are Nama Rumba. Then you get another, now you are descending mentality, mentality from here up to mother's home. This is one life. Like a threat. Mm -hmm. One life. But they are not permanent. They are nature. But nature, successfully they are rising, passing away as you want life. Then from mother's home, then up to that stage. That stage means you are really offering flowers to the Buddha. Hmm? Up to that moment, you should try to discern Namarupa. When you are discerning Namarupa, if that Namarupa is not your Namarupa, mentality, mentality, then it will be not your life, different life. Mm -hmm. This is another life. Mm -hmm. In the same way, one by one, if you discern, then among these five, oh, five persons, <coughs> one will be your mentality. If you are mentality, mentality, then it will be like one life, mm -hmm. like a threat. Mm -hmm. you know, then you can understand how boy, especially previous life Boinga Mindo and this Mindo are one life connected to each other. Mm -hmm. Then you can also another understand you can also understand more. The attitude of mentality mentality and this you are present attitude of mentality mentality nearly same. You can understand. Mm -hmm. But again you should decide another mentality mentality like this lady. Eh? And then if you decide, when they are accumulating whole swantama, at that time, they are, if you decide together, if you offer together, if you accumulate whole swantama together, then that mentality you you should try to see. And then, if it is season, previous like mentality mentality, how mentality mentality will be one life. You can see. But if they are different, it is not easy to search for for inside knowledge. Mm. If they had been accumulated together, it is very easy to discern mentality mentality as you want it. Oh, this mentality mentality is how mentality mentality you can really understand. Mm. Do you want to know? Yes. <laughs> Please go to Pao. I will teach you. <laughs> 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 Okay, let us start today. Ijame Bonya, Ijame Bonya, Sawakaya, Sawakaya, Mohammodu, Mohammodu, Ijame Sila, Ijame Sila, Ijame Bonya, Ijame Bonya, Ibana Sa, Ibana Sa, Pacheo, Pacheo, Mohammodu, Mohammodu, Ijame Bonya. Saba Sadana, Saba Sadana, Bajima, Bajima, Tisabe, Tisabe, Mesama, Mesama, Punya Baga, Punya Baga, Labandu, Labandu, Sadu, Sadu, Sadu. That's not we.